The Duke of Sussex first complained to the Home Office in September 2021 about a decision that denied him security while he was at home in the United Kingdom. He was told by the Executive Committee for the Protection of the Royal Family and Public Figures, RAVEC, that his move to America with wife Meghan Markle did not entitle him to taxpayer-funded security. In 2022, Harry was given the right to challenge this decision. His team argued that his security service in the U.S. was not properly equipped to protect him in the U.K. On Wednesday, Sir Peter Lane issued an order upholding the Home Office's decision. Harry's legal team released a statement saying they would appeal the decision again. The Duke is not asking for preferential treatment, but for a fair and lawful application of RAVEC's own rules, ensuring that he receives the same consideration as others under RAVEC's own written policy, the statement said. If Harry does not appeal, he will have to pay the Home Office's legal costs. By October, legal costs had reached £407,000. These costs include £265,437 for the government's legal department and £137,864 for lawyers. But costs have risen further since then as there was a three-day trial in December. Prince Harry is being represented by four lawyers from Schillings International, a well-known law firm for celebrities. It can be surmised that his own legal bills are higher than those of the Home Office, which together can amount to more than pound one EM, and in high court cases, the losing party usually pays both bills. A Home Office spokesperson shared that they were pleased with Wednesday's judgment, saying, we are pleased that the court has ruled in favor of the government's position in this case, and we are carefully considering our next steps. Further comment would be inappropriate. The UK government's system of defense is rigorous and proportionate. Our long-standing policy is not to provide details of these arrangements, as this could jeopardize their integrity and affect the safety of individuals. Prince Harry lost an appeal to overturn a high court decision to restrict his taxpayer-funded security while he is in the UK and may have to pay legal costs.